Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I'm here to do a reading for Gemini. This is for Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, and this is for the week of January 18th through 24th. But, you know, the timing is still fluid. These could happen at any time. Hmm. Well, we have a card that fell out. It is the devil reversed. So this is an overall energy. It means you're breaking free from something. You are breaking free from something that is toxic, that is unhealthy, that you have been codependent on. This is freedom. I think that uh, you've been tied. This is like slavery. It's breaking the chains. You are breaking some sort of chains. Could be from an addiction. Obviously it is because the devil is a codependency. So breaking some, breaking free from something for sure. You are breaking free from something. Um, could be Capricorn. Doesn't have to be. Um, this is like taking off the chains, going in a new direction, uh, seeing it for what it is. I feel like uh, the overall energy is freedom. Okay, it's freedom. So, yeah, you're breaking free from something that is toxic. It's unhealthy. You've been tied to it. It's kept you stuck. It's kept you there because it looked so good or it felt so good, but it doesn't feel good anymore. So it's time to break free, and I think that's what you're doing. Whatever this addiction is, because the devil is addiction of some sort, codependency on something, um, you must free yourself. So you are going to, or things could be getting worse if you don't. When you get the devil reversed, if you don't break free from it, things are going to get worse until you do. So this could be things actually getting worse. This is a toxic, unhealthy situation that you have to find a way to sever ties. You got to. So what do we have? Seahorse, family mem family matters. I was gonna say family members. So I don't know if this has to do with family members, but obviously it's family matters, same thing. So something to do with your family. Funnel, period of frustration, a lesson to be learned, or lessons to be learned. So you got some lessons to be learned. Oh, this does have to do with your family. And I think there is going to be a period of frustration. could be between you or somebody that you're dealing with. Maybe it's somebody in your family that is frustrated. They may be frustrated with the decision that you have made. Something like that. Um, but the devil reversed is freedom. Freedom from a toxic, unhealthy situation. What do we have for Gemini? Gemini, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. King of Pentacles, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, this is about stability, security, um, planning, long-term stability you are probably looking for long-term stability um working really really hard there could also be somebody that is coming into your world or they're in your environment now this person is very materialistically focused they're focused on their money this could also be your energy very focused on financial matters right now um, the King of Pentacles is somebody that, you know, is um, very business oriented. So I feel like you're dealing, either you're very business oriented or you're dealing with somebody that is very focused on their money. And this is obsessed. Okay, this is obsessed. The devil's an obsession. You may be dealing with somebody that is obsessive. They're obsessive about their money or they're obsessive about, you know, control because the devil's about control. Um... Hmm. What is this King of Pentacles? Eight of Cups reversed. Hmm. Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, you got somebody here that is very materialistically focused. They're more focused on their money and their home and their job and their things than they are a relationship. They are. They're not, you know, they're not really focused on, you know... And they may even be unfaithful with a Knight of Pentacles reversed. This is somebody that 
may not be very committed. They may not be very committed. Typically, the King of Pentacles is about commitment, but, you know, that Eight of Cups is thinking about walking away because this person is so focused on, they could be very egotistical. This could be somebody that is obsessive, compulsive, you know, um, that is causing emotional discomfort. I feel like, oh, with that Eight of Cups reverse, that's like pretending to be happy. This is superficial. This is this is uh, refusing to move on. So I feel I feel like, you know, somebody may be refusing to move on. There's there's emotional weakness here. We have somebody here that is not really emotionally available. They're more focused on things than they in materialism. They're more focused on money than they are focused on a relationship. And maybe that's what you need to break free from. You know, I mean. When you get the when you get the Knight of Pentacles reversed, you know that you could be dealing with somebody that is very very greedy. This person is greedy. They're inflexible. They they're obsessed. You are dealing with somebody that is obsessed. They are obsessed, and they're obsessed with with finances, with money, or something like that. Mm. Not a relationship. This is ten of cups. That's not a relationship. This is a dying dream, right? It, it is. It's relationship problems. We have relationship problems here that are causing you frustration because whoever it is that you're dealing with, you know, they they're very materialistic, and I feel like they're not looking for a relationship, and that's probably why you need to break free. So. Or they're not really focused on the relationship. They're not putting in much effort to the relationship. You know, one person is doing all the work. I don't feel like whoever you're dealing with is really looking for family. You know, they're not looking for that family dynamic. You know, and it's probably causing the frustrations. Or they don't focus on the family. You know, they're more focused on... Um, and this person could be a gambler. They could be... Um, God, uh, what's the word for it? I feel like they could also be unfaithful. You know, they like to get a lot of attention. This is somebody who is very um, shallow. Very, very shallow. Very, very um, likes attention. Oh, they're not all that they are cracked up to be, put it that way. They come across as somebody that, you know, is very stable and solid and secure. And they are financially, but they aren't emotionally. Okay, so whoever you're dealing with is not emotionally secure. They may be financially secure, but that's more important to them than a relationship. So Queen of Wands, reverse. And whoever you're dealing with may be looking for somebody that is weak. They're looking, they may be looking for a weak individual who lacks self-confidence and lacks self-esteem. Okay, um, so I, I feel like you definitely have somebody that is in your arena. They're in your circle. They're in your area that are around you that is is probably causing you frustrations they may have dimmed your self-esteem you know they may have brought you down they may have stolen your energy you know they may have maybe they're 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 you're like their little slave maybe that's why they they i mean because the devil is a slave card and got this queen of wands this is somebody who doesn't know their value that is weak this is a weak individual so somebody may have you know Got, it's like finding a partner that will take care of them and have sex with them, but it's really, you know, not, there's no real desire or no attraction or there's no growth or there's no focus on a relationship other than the sex and the, uh, you know, you do, you're my little slave, you know what I mean? So I feel like uh, whoever you are dealing with could also be dealing with an ex, another woman. Or somebody from their past, they could be, you know, and maybe, maybe that's, that's, uh, or maybe there is another woman here that there's, you know, when I see the Queen of Wands in the reading, especially in the reverse, it does signify that there's probably another person. I think that there's probably another person that this, this King of Pentacles is dealing with. And that's why they're not really, really into the relationship. And this King of Pentacles doesn't have to be an earth sign. It can be any other sign. It's somebody who works a lot, is very focused on their money, may have a business, may have their own business, or they're just very focused on their bank account. So anyway, I feel like you, um, or, or you could be really focused on your business. You're not looking for a relationship, you know? 
Maybe you're just not looking for a relationship at all. Maybe you're going through a period of healing. You're just, you're not there. That could be the case as well. It could be I'm not focusing on a relationship this week. I'm going to focus on my money. Um, breaking free from some sort of toxic situation. Uh, the Queen of Wands in reverse is also an individual that could be throwing a fit. So you could be dealing with somebody that is having a tantrum. They are throwing a fit. They are trying to force themselves into a situation. This is somebody that... Um, is unstable. This person is unstable. They're selfish, uh, entitled. They feel like they're entitled to something. So you may be dealing with somebody who feels like they're entitled. They may feel like they're entitled to your person or even to your money. Okay. Cause there's something to do with money here. Um, when you get the queen of wands in reverse, somebody could be very, very controlling. You know, they're jealous. This is jealous and this is jealous. So you probably do have some jealousy around you. Somebody may be jealous of your um, stability, and I know that's probably for somebody else, and they may be trying to cause problems, so beware of that. Um, what do we have for Gemini? You could be dealing with an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. This is staying in a situation that is not healthy. Somebody is staying in a situation that is not healthy and they need to break free and they need to leave. But it's not going to be easy and it's going to take courage and it's going to take confidence and it's going to take strength and determination and willpower and confidence, self-confidence. Don't let your own weaknesses allow somebody to take advantage of you. Codependency. You know, this is staying in a codependent situation that isn't healthy and things getting worse until you break free. So this may be a week where things actually get worse because you need to break free. What is this? I feel like there's another person involved. Five of Wands, yeah, this is a battle. This is there's a fight. There's some competition here. You've got some competition, and some of you may be oblivious to it. Just saying. Anyhow, Five of Wands is a competition. It's a it's a battle of some sort. It's a tug of war going back and forth, power struggle. So I do feel like you're gonna be going through it. You're gonna be struggling with somebody this week who is upset. This is somebody that is upset. They are upset with uh the fact that you are um I feel like you're you're break you are in the process of breaking for you. Maybe starting to realize things, but there's going to be a fight of some sort. There's going to be a fight with an individual. Eight of Pentacles and the Page of Wands reverse could be somebody you work with or somebody that you know, it could be a, a child of yours. It could be a, a father child situation or a mother child situation. Somebody may be trying to teach somebody a lesson. Um, could be a family member because we do have family members here. Could but uh, could also be at work. And a lot of times your work is your family. It's your it's your home away from home. So there could be you know an argument at work for some of you. Um, but this is bad news. This is bad news. I think that you're dealing with somebody who doesn't have anything good good to say. They're very very pessimistic. They're helpless. You know they see themselves as a victim. Um, I feel like this person always is miserable. You know, they're miserable. They always bring people down. And I feel like they are feeling some sort of inadequacy. And they're going to cause problems for you. You know, that's what people do. They project They project their um, themselves onto others, you know. Um, so I do think you have somebody here that has a self-image problem, whether it's you or somebody that you're dealing with. And I feel like this self-image problem is going to come to the forefront this week. I feel like uh, you're going to be receiving some news, maybe even a message from somebody. Or you may even live with this person. I don't know. There's going to be an argument. There's going to be an argument. Um... But everything is going to work out as it should. It is. It is. I feel like something is going to come to a stop with the page of page of uh, pentacles reverse. You know, something is going to come to a, a, a complete stop. You know, somebody may be stopped, you know, uh, whatever that means. There's a relationship that is, is probably not working out. And I feel like you have an opportunity to, to maybe... 
go in a new direction and maybe you need to stop going in the direction that you've been going in. I feel like you're working with somebody, whether it's literally working, you know, at work or you're in a relationship with somebody that is not well suited for you. With the page of wands reverse, that's a suitor or a person that is not well suited for you. Maybe it's a fire sign, could be, or the person that you're dealing with is. There's there's a fire sign here, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, and this could be Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, Sun, Moon, Rising, whatever. There's a relationship that is not working out, and it's not working out because there's too much, uh, there's too many power struggles. There's control issues. There's ego issues. There's um, one person that isn't doing their share. They're, the other one is doing all the work. And I feel like that's going to come to a head this week. I feel like it's going to come to a head. I think there's going to be an argument. Um, I think that it's been safe to stay in this situation, but it's really not safe anymore. I don't feel like it's safe because I feel like somebody's going to throw, you know, who wants to deal with somebody who's negative all the time, that is miserable, that, you know, you've been trying to make it work with this person, but they're miserable. I think they're obsessed. You know, they're obsessed with being in control. So you're dealing with a control freak. That's what I see this week and I see that things are going to get worse and they're going to continue to get worse until you remove the chains, until you remove the shackles, until you, you know, put in the effort to break free from the situation. You know, you have to be practical. Whoever you're dealing with is very, very cunning. They're very, very clever. They are. And I feel like you're, it's not going to be easy for you to break free. So I feel like this is a week where, you know, you get some sort of, I think you get into an argument with an individual that is jealous of you. They're jealous. They're jealous of, maybe they're jealous of your stability or they're jealous of your skills. I feel like you're very skilled at whatever it is that you do and they're jealous of you, you know, so... Or maybe they don't want you to walk away. Maybe you're walking away and they don't want you to walk away. Or somebody, I know I'm changing the story. It feels like somebody has been thinking about walking away, you know, and it may all, there could be an angry outburst, you know, where, you know, all the, all the anger comes out. I do feel like there's going to be a fight this week in your world, Gemini. Um, and it has to do with, you know, a relationship could be with your family. You know, and, and people walking away and, uh, you know, other people not agreeing with the decision to do so. So, good luck. <laughs>